Debbie Antonelli from ESPN. Hey, Gabby, good morning. Uh, last year you made seven threes. This year in two games, you've already made four. What has uh, been the reason why your improvement has been so, so significant out beyond the three-point line so early in the season? I've just been really focused on it, especially while I was in France uh, working, avec, uh, working with Nico Perez um, in France and then working with Olaf here and with James, of course. They're like shooting gurus, so they've really helped me. Eric Wilson. Hey, hey Gabby. Uh, good morning. Me? How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. So, you know, this team game one, you diamond was limited in her minutes. Uh, last night's game, the other night, excuse me, uh, Steph was out. What does this mean to you to know that you have, you know, these women who are your plan and, um, what does it mean just to, you know, the camaraderie that you ladies have on the court? Uh, you broke up a little bit. Can you repeat the second half of that question? Sorry. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Just, you know, playing with such limited amount of people, um, you know, the you ladies have been able to come together and pull off some successful victories. What does that mean to you? I think during this season specifically, you know, no one's played basketball in four months. Everybody's rosters are limited. Everybody's kind of, it's really hard to get back into the style of play again. So this season, that's going to be more important than anything because it's kind of inevitable that we're going to have uh, a limited roster at times. So the fact that we showed that we have players who can step up and play with seven, eight players, uh, that, that's huge for us. And could you just speak on um, Sky Takes Action, please? Of course, yeah. So I'm, I'm really excited about the initiative that we're doing this year. And uh, this is going to be more than just something where we just raise money and donate it and that's it. We're gonna to try to educate the fans and keep them as involved as possible. And I just really encourage the fans to check out the website, donate whatever you can. If you used to come to a game, whatever you'd spend on a ticket, you can still support us by donating to this cause. Jake Meister. Good morning, Gabby. Kind of along the same lines, how is Sky taking action, serving as a motivator for you on the court, obviously, with, you know, every point being donated toward the cause? It's really fun and it's really rewarding to know that we're playing for something that goes beyond just uh, our record or our wins. You know, we're, we're playing for our whole community and we're playing for the whole country. We're playing for people who look like us, who don't feel visible, who don't feel heard. So it's, uh, it's really meaningful. And how has your just progression in general offensively taken pressure off veterans such as, you know, Courtney and, and Allie? Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to play my role and, and do my part wherever that need be. If it's at the one, two, three, four, whatever, I'm just trying to be as productive as I can. Thank you. Okay, Debbie. Thank you. Uh, Gabby, how has Azare helped, um, you know, the rotations? And, you know, what does she bring this year that, that you guys didn't have last year? It's just kind of the perfect uh, match with us, with her athleticism and uh, her mobility and the way she's able to move and run the floor because we play fast. And we have the best point guard in the world with, with Courtney Vandersloot. So to have uh, Z run in the floor, you know, that's, that's cake for Sloot. Jason Shaver. Sorry guys, the unmute is a little delayed today. I'm not sure why. Jason, can you unmute yourself? Do you mind? Okay, perfect. All right, here we go. Sorry, Gabby. Uh, two games in, you guys have shot the, the ball incredibly well second half. Is there any adjustments that you're making at halftime? Or uh, can you elaborate on the success you had, especially on Tuesday versus L.A. in the third quarter? I think it's just a matter of them respecting our attack to the basket, respecting our drives. Uh, it forces the defense to have to take a step off when, you know, players like Ka, especially, and Diamond are attacking the rim. Uh, makes them have to pack the paint, so that opens up the three-point for us. Thank you. Jason Shaver? I just asked that question. I think I'm good. For some reason, um, you're still with the hand raised. Eric? Uh, 
Gabby, can you just speak to having Z on your squad? I mean, you two ladies were very successful in UConn, and now together playing again on the sky, you seem to be having that same kind of success. So can you just speak to that relationship? Yeah, it's definitely an advantage for us because uh, this was kind of the style we played at UConn where I was kind of the point forward. Um, me and her would run a lot of ball screens. Her, she would run in transition, so we'd find each other. I, I know where she likes the ball. She knows how to find me. So uh, we just picked up right where we left off. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Gabby, and thank you guys for joining us.